Hello, this is your girl Photology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you'll know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to work with opacity maps. This is the dress that we are working with. Now, originally, this dress had a collar on it, and it had a bow in the back. I scrolled down where the collar's at, and I put black here. I didn't need to click on use blending and I did the same for the bow so that is all set but this is what the dress looks like which is not bad at all now let's go check out who I derived from the person I decided to derive from today was wing and this is what it looks like comes in three sizes and the derive from product is down below or you can copy and paste the product ID number. You want to click on templates here because you're going to need that. So click where it says click here. You're going to need that and let me show you what it looks like. So over here is where you get the textures and the opacity map. Now because I'm not working with the bows and I'm not working with the collar I did not save this but if you choose to work with it you save it the right sleeve the right sleeve the left sleeve the left sleeve you are going to have to save all this because we are going to be working with the opacity maps mostly you're gonna to have to save this as well the textures as well Now here is the top front, top back. Right here is the same. You're going to have to save all this, so remember that. I don't feel like I need to keep going over that, but yeah, this is pretty much it. So I'm going to work with all of this here. Now let's go into GIMP and get started. Now I have all the opacity maps I'm going to be used opened up in GIMP. I'm not going to be focusing on the textures at the moment. First, we're going to focus on the opacity map only. So as you can see here, these are what they look like. This is what I downloaded. Okay. So to get started, I'm going to right click. New layer. It's going to be white. I'm going to do the same for everything. Right click, new layer, OK. Right click, new layer, OK. OK. So now I'm going to drag this above the new layer. I'm going to do the same for all of this. If you watched my video the other day, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the same steps. So I find it important to watch all my videos. Okay, now we're going to play with the opacity. I'm going to put it to 30.3. 30.3 for all of them. Thirty point three for all of them. But if you need like if you have trouble seeing, you can make it further. You don't have to have it at thirty point three, but this is comfortable for me. Because I can still see it. Mm 
now you will be duplicating this layer duplicate layer for the layer part duplicate layer and just do that for everything layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer layer duplicate layer okay so we got that all set now I'm not sure if you guys could see it closely but I could see it closely and that's why I have it at this but I'm going to get rid of this collar part like I already got rid of the collar before but like I mean the neck part of the dress so in order to do that I'm going to copy over the layer open as a layer I'm going to use the tattoo template now I'm going to click the eye and I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to see where that's at okay I want it further down it's all about adjusting. Every single time you do this, you have to adjust. That's why I say it takes way longer. I'm going to do it to the shoulders part. Just to the shoulders part. I think I got it. Let me see. Okay, that's perfect. That's to the shoulder part. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with the back. I'm going to leave that there. Same with the back. So I'm going to go file, open as layer. I'm going to click the eye. I'm just going to move this up. Let's see. Nope, two down. Actually, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. That is actually perfect. Now I'm going to overwrite the map. Export. I'm going to click this out. And I'm going to overwrite that. Export. All right, let's go into VU to see what it looks like. We're back in VU, and I'm trying to get rid of this part here. And I want it to be even from front to back. So. Over here. I'm going to do the same with the back. Okay. Save. All right. So that's not bad. We just got rid of what we need to get rid of. So that's not bad. I actually like it like that. It's not that bad. Okay. So now it's time to make some designs on this, the front of the dress at least. So let's go back into GIMP. Okay, we're back into GIMP. Let's see what this dress looks like. So I kind of want to put some, you know, designs here to show some skin at least here. Um, and probably below as well. So in order to do that, I have more to do. So file, open as layer. Let me go to downloads. Let's see what I can use. 
actually I like this heart here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer scale layer let's see what it looks like at 200 that's not bad let's see hmm I want it a little bit above a little bit above so I'm gonna move this heart above. let me see hmm let me just see what that looks like because it looks good here and looks perfectly aligned okay so let me overwrite this file and if I don't like it I could always go back and delete it let's go into VU okay we're back in VU I'm just gonna see exactly what this looks like now apply changes that's actually not bad but instead of you know what this is different this is very different I could see myself working with this this isn't bad it's not something you really see before but we're just creating on a whim this isn't something you have to actually think deep about but I actually like it it's not bad okay so let's add some more designs to this though because this is still kind of plain. Okay, so let's go file, open as layer. And I was thinking something. All right, layer, scale, let's see what 250 looks like. I think I'm gonna undo that, it's too big. Let's see what 200 looks like, much better. So we're gonna move this down here. Okay, let me see because this is the stomach part down here. This is the chest part. Okay. Let's overwrite that. Let's go into VU again. Now, if you don't like it, you could always go back and undo everything and start from scratch. Okay, I love that part. Save. So this is what it looks like. Which is not bad at all. Now for the skirt in the front, I do want to have some at least cutouts here on the sides. And I want the skirt to be shorter. So let's go start with that. And then we'll work with the back. Okay, so these are the sleeves. We're working with the skirt. It's the front of the skirt. So, file, open as layer. Actually, the first thing I want to do is make the skirt short. tattoo template I'm going to let's see how short I want to make this skirt okay now there's a way where you can do the same thing for the back of the skirt 
to the front, you can use the same template map. So that's most likely what I'm going to do because it's just easier that way. I'll overwrite this. Export. Let's go to VU to see how short it is. This is what the skirt looks like. It's the front of the skirt, so I'm going to go edit. And I'm going to go apply changes. Now, it didn't make a change yet. I think I'm going to do the same for the back. Edit. Because I want the same length. Now. So for these parts, I think you would have to do the same here. So. There. Yep, I was correct. So this is what it looks like. Sometimes you have to do that for these. It's not always simple. But yep. Let me press save. This is what the skirt looks like. I can make it shorter if I feel like making it shorter. Okay. So now... I feel like I need to do more. Like the, sh the skirt is where it needs to be at. It's not too short, but I feel like I need to do more. So let's go add some more to it. Okay, so file, open as layer. We're gonna go to downloads. You know what? I'm going to use this. Layer scale. Mm, let's see what 200 looks like. Mm, let's see. Nope, that'll be too much. Too much skin showing. Layer scale. Let's see, six hundred. Mm, you know what? Let's put it to scale eight hundred. All right, now I can adjust it a little bit. And file. Overwrite. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I wanted to add some more to the skirt. I'm going to do the same to the back. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to do the same to the back. I want to see what it looks like first. Okay. Okay, so I know what to do. For the front, all right, for the front, I'll do the same for the front. Edit here and there. Now this is turning into something different, way different. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let me change the avatar. Let's see. 
avatar. So you can get a clear view of what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Which isn't bad at all. It's not bad here. I would have to fix this, obviously. But I'm not going to fix it right now. I actually like how it looks. Now we're going to focus on the back. And we're going to focus on the back of the skirt. But the back of the top is the main focus right now. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to get started on the back. File, open as layer. I think I'm going to do the same. And layer scale. I'm going to scale it to 800. And I'm just going to move it around. Let me undo that, undo, undo, and hmm, layer scale would be, we'll say 200. Move this around. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. File, overwrite map. Let's go into VU. Okay. So we're going to focus on the back. Edit. And let's apply changes. You see how just a weird design can do like, it, it, it could do amazing things because this is different. You don't really see stuff like this in the shop. Now, we're going to work on the lower part as well. Um, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so file, open as layer. And I'm going to scale this scale to, I say, 200. there and I'm gonna go file overwrite let's go check it out okay so I want to edit apply changes perfect save I actually love this dress <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think I want to add some, either some holes into this these sleeves just to give it a better look. Or I might leave the sleeves as is. You know what? I think I'm going to leave the sleeves as is. So now I am going to be coloring this dress. I'm going to add texture to this dress. And you guys can watch me do that. Let's take a look. Okay, so before we get started on the textures and coloring the textures and using patterns, I want to show you guys some fashion trends of 2022 um, to kind of get you guys, you know, in, in the inspiration mode. 
So as you can see here, these are some of the very loud patterns that they have. And that's kind of how my dresses represent. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. And I, I love every single one of these. So you just want to type in 2022 fashion patterns. And these are what's in. But if you don't want to focus on trends, you don't have to. But this is just what it looks like. These are all unique and beautiful styles. But yeah, let's go into GIMP and get started. So we're back in GIMP and I opened up the textures that we need. All right, now let's get into recoloring this. Colors, let's see, colorize. All right, let's do blue. And filters, repeat colorize. Filters, repeat colorize. Filters, repeat colorize. And so on and so forth. Now, right click, new layer. I'm going to change this to transparency. Okay. Do the same. Click. There. Right click new layer. Right click new layer. Okay. Now we're going to add some patterns in here. File. Open as layer. Go to textures and logos. And I have plenty of textures to choose from. Just got to figure out which one I want. You know what? I'm going to go with. You know what? I might just go with bold and beautiful. Convert. Now I'm going to have to scale this down. We'll do 300 to about 600 in height. There. And I think I'm going to do the same for all of them. Or if I want it, I could easily drag this pattern. It's a different way you can do this. Just drag it. And you just do the same for all of them. So I don't have to keep resizing every time I you know, do this. It just makes it easier. There. Now, the layer merge down. And I'm going to play with the opacity. Twenty is that fine? Layer merge down. Twenty. Layer merge down. Twenty. Arch down twenty. Layer merge down and repeat. Merge down twenty. Okay, so this is a lot of blues going on. I want to change that so I can always go to color and color balance and just play with it. So this is what we're going to see. So for the midtones, I might want to do a purple here, 
That's not bad, actually. I actually like that. I actually really like that. Purple and blue. I'm going to say okay to that. Filters, repeat. Filters, repeat. Filters, repeat. Filters, repeat. And filters, repeat. Now I'm going to go layer, merge down. Layer, merge down. You're going to merge down all of them once you're done coloring. Layer, merge down. Layer, merge down. And layer, merge down. Now I'm going to sharpen every last one of them. Enhance. Filters, enhance. And then sharpen. And I'm going to pick OK. And I'm just going to repeat that for everything. Filters, repeat, sharpen. 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 And now I'm going to save all these. Overwrite. Export. Overwrite. And you're just going to repeat this. File. Overwrite. Export. Export. File. Right. Export. All right. Export. So now we're going to go on VU and see what that looks like. Okay. So now we're back in VU. We're going to color this. We'll put the textures where they belong. back the sleeves this is the left sleeve this is the right sleeve front of the skirt and then the back of the skirt so now we are going to apply all the changes and this is what it looks like that is gorgeous. I actually love the texture. This is what the skirt looks like. It's really, really cute, actually. But again, you can, you can, if you want, you can remove the sleeves. You can do whatever you want to this dress. I actually really, really love it. This is what I came up with. This is how you work with opacity maps. It's pretty simple for some. For others, it may be harder, but this is a longer video for those reasons. This is about learning. If you want to learn, continue watching my videos. I will continue to show you guys more things. Um, but I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. And have a nice day.